the lab this week is going to be properties of ionic and covalent substances. Again, this is in Pivot Interactive, so you're going to go in through your own account. When you're going to go in through your account, you're going to find this lab. I don't think they're going to have particular dates on them, so you're going to have to follow the assignments in Canvas. And what we're going to do is we're going to conduct some tests on some compounds. And we're going to look at molecules and we're going to look at ionic compounds. You remember that molecules are going to be made from nonmetals. Ionic compounds are going to be made from metals and nonmetals. And we're going to consider conductivity. We're going to consider their melting points. So what we're going to do is we're going to watch the videos. So if we start here and what we have is some, um, some water here, we're going to put in an, a compound. In this case, it's going to be sucrose. They're going to give it a good stir. If you want to change your screen, you can go over to this expand screen button over to the right. And what they're going to do is put in a little electrical um, strips with a light bulb. And when they do that, you can see whether or not the substance is going to conduct electricity. Because if it conducts electricity, what's going to happen is that that light is going to go on. So back here, again, play. So we're going to put in the metal strips and nothing happened. All right, so we'll go to the next one. So if we go to the next one, we try a different one. We hit go and they switch compounds and now we have potassium iodide. And as they take and they put potassium iodide into the water and give it a good stir and then see if it conducts electricity. So they'll put in the metal strips hooked up to the battery in the light and see what is going to occur. So give it a second while they stir here. Still stirring. And when they put that in, light is conducted, or electricity, excuse me, is conducted, and we can see that with the light bulb coming on. And so what you're going to do is play that and look at the four solids that they have, and when they are dissolved in water, do they conduct or not? Make sure you submit your answer. Look at the formula. See what sort of elements each of the compounds are made of. And then make take a look at it and make some um Predictions giving that, giving yourself that information. What we're going to do next is we're going to take and we're going to melt them. So they've got a thermocouple here into a piece of a flame. They've got some um, temperature probes here, and we're going to look at the temperature of the Bunsen burner. And then they're going to take and they're going to put each of the solids here in the flame. And so as they light up the Bunsen burner, you'll start seeing at what temperature the solid begins to melt. Now, your job is going to be to pause the video at that point and record the temperature. It's going to be a range, and these are going to be approximate. We'll put the temperatures in for each of the solids, and then relate the activity to the melting points, and then keep doing until you finish and you summarize your results. When you're done, go ahead and submit the lab, and make sure you understand here why some compounds are will conduct electricity, what's going to happen to their melting point, are they ionic, are they covalent.